Given f of x equals negative x squared, solve f of x equals four. To solve f of x equals four, we are looking for the inputs or x values of this function where the output is positive four. So again, we are given f of x equals negative x squared. Because we want to solve f of x equals four, we now substitute four for f of x, which gives us the equation four equals negative x squared. And now let's try to solve this equation by factoring. The first step is to set the equation equal to zero. To do this, we can either subtract four on both sides or add x squared to both sides. Because we prefer to have the leading term positive, let's add x squared to both sides of the equation. Simplifying on the left, we have four plus x squared. Using the commutative property of addition, let's write that as x squared plus four equals, on the right side, we have negative x squared plus x squared, which is equal to zero. And now to solve by factoring, we need to factor the left side of the equation. Notice how we have a sum of squares, not a difference of squares. A difference of squares is factorable, but a sum of squares does not factor, it is considered prime. When this happens, this indicates that there are no real rational solutions to the equation. So let's write that out. There are no real rational solutions. So in solving by factoring, once we set the equation equal to zero, if it's not factorable, it doesn't mean we don't have any solutions, it just means we don't have any real rational solutions. These solutions will be either irrational or complex, which we will learn about very soon. Before we go, let's verify this graphically. In red, we have the graph of f of x equals negative x squared. In blue, we have the graph of f of x equals four. Notice how there are no points of intersection, which indicates the solutions to f of x equals four are complex solutions, which again, we will learn about very soon. I hope you found this helpful.